Welcome to the club, Z-Man fans. That is Fear the Walking Dead Club, and Season 6, Episode 2. That is the name of this episode, and we're going to get straight into it and talk a little bit about tonight's episode. And, you know, I have to just straight off just mention, this, tonight's episode is exactly what I remember about Fear the Walking Dead. It's when, I don't know what it is with their formula, but when they get too many characters in these most recent seasons, the story just gets kind of confusing and, and maybe not just confusing like I understand what's happening but like I feel like I'm working at like extra hard just to make sure I understand what everybody's talking about and then as I'm watching the scenes and as they're put together like it sometimes feels a bit rushed like they didn't take the time to maybe uh, give us as much visuals as they should have you know instead of you know showing maybe not the telling and because they're telling us a whole lot but they're not showing us as much I mean they're showing us the zombies and they look great as always right the backdrops the cinematography looking great like always but you know there were those scenes tonight when um when alicia and strand and all those guys were finally in, you know in with that warehouse and they had to get those zombies out of that area to find the weapon right to uh um, to appease uh, virginia and all that good stuff meanwhile strand's got his own plans and what he's trying to, to work out and alicia's combating him oh just all kinds of combobulations going on but when it was that scene when you know they were getting them out of there and there was some craziness going on right you know um charlie gets uh, her ponytail grabbed and she almost gets bitten and you know the, there's a barricade that's failing on one side sanjay the guy that meet they meet in the beginning left all the previous people i mean he's running away and so forth but when all the zombies were finally heading into that room i mean it, it looked, looked like a massive craziness uh, a set of craziness and yet it seems like they would have had more than enough time to probably overcome Alicia and all that. It's, I guess it's just timing. Timing and pacing while they're trying to include all these scenes in there. And I know that is an extremely hard thing. I've run into that when I've done my scenes in my Dead Nightmare zombie series as well. Like sometimes you just, you're trying to figure out like what's all happening while this is happening over here. You know, are those scenes, do they match up so that by the time you get back to that other crew, that other scene, does it make sense what, what conspired in between? Tonight, it just didn't fully do it for me. It's not a, I'm not going to say that this episode was a bad episode. This season is already pretty much light years ahead of season five. I mean, season five had some moments. They had some pretty good episodes in between all the crap ones. And I just say crap ones because the storyline was just, it was, it was bad. It was just really bad. They're creating airplanes and rebuilding airplanes and stuff that if I had a hundred of my best friends, we probably couldn't do in two, two years if we tried, but I digress. Let's get back to it. Um, Tonight's episode, there's a lot of things going on, and basically it's testing uh, Victor and uh, and Alicia, I guess, in some ways, and uh, their commitment to trying to help their friends and figure something out. Uh, because uh, obviously we're at one of Virginia's settlements. Strand, he's uh, he's in the in the shit as always, you know, not making many friends. And him and Alicia get tossed over to, on this assignment to see if they can prove their worth in another way. Of course, they're very vague about it. We don't understand, but we get to see a little glimpse of what they might be getting into in the beginning of the episode, which, what did you all think about that scene? I mean, you know, they raise that gate, right? And you see these five, and they have their spears, and they're ready to start attacking. And as they go up, like, it almost looked like, okay, so the zombies, my wife noticed immediately, like, they were grabbing them and pulling them in and under through the gate. I mean, listen, the zombies, they're aggressive, right? But I feel more like they kind of grab on latch and they kind of like pull themselves toward, you know, they're, they're always going for their meal. Um, the idea that they were grabbing and pulling them in made them feel like they were some kind of evolving monster. Like they, they're getting extra strength and just pulling them through. Now, it could be argued that, no, Mike, there were several zombies under there and they were all grabbing onto them. But like, yeah, what, all of them and all the people, they, you know, so it was a little unbelievable the way they were filming it. You know, I, I get it. That's the landscape. This is the situation. So we need to try and, you know, bite onto this. But I just couldn't. I just, I, I didn't feel right. Um, I'd be really curious to know what you guys thought about that scene in the beginning. I mean, a, a great intense scene. Uh, and they all get wiped out except for that one guy, Sanjay. Which, you know, as we fast forward back in, as I was just talking about that, that main scene around the middle to the, uh, uh, whatever, um, 80% through the episode. When they're having to fight these things once again. And apparently these things are coated in molasses or something like that i'm sorry when they finally got in there where was the molasses i mean where was all the nastiness i mean i just saw 
an open warehouse with just some junk and random things and you know because they know they're looking for the weapon which we find out what that is we'll talk about that in a minute but i just the zombies i mean yeah they were coding all this crap and supposedly they were so sticky that you know whatever they grab onto there's no getting away from them I'm like okay that's interesting but again i didn't see barrels of it leaking out i didn't see all this nastiness at least not on the inside the rest where it should have been uh on the other side you know where the gate was closed where it was safe at least in the beginning yeah it was nasty out there because it was leaking through the bottom and i guess I'm just trying to put these little details together, and it, it's confusing sometimes for the viewer. The viewer that's maybe paying a little closer attention to all the detail. And, you know, I think I have plagued myself, and I might be in trouble now, because now that I've started doing my own filming and writing my own stuff and whatever, and hearing feedback and criticisms from my works as well, I really start to understand why people get so upset when characters do stupid things. And although we're doing it as writers and creators and directors to create drama, uh, sometimes it's kind of stupid drama because it's like, would well, that even really happen? So something for me to pay attention to when I write my further episodes, but it's something that they really need to pay attention to. And Fear is notorious for this in previous seasons, especially four and five, just putting these guys in some goofy ass situations. So um, I thought it was interesting tonight. Let's talk about some good stuff. I thought it was pretty cool that, you know, so when Sanjay ran out on them for the second, well, the groups, I guess, for the second time, and he went and hit that trailer, and Strand ends up finding them, so as all those zombies are, they're kind of making their way through the, uh, the little corral, gated horse trailer, I don't even know what the heck exactly it was, but the plan's pretty much going south quick, and Strand runs away, and he finds them in there, and Sanjay points out, man, you know, the car, car horn's not going to work to draw that crowd out of there, you're going to need to get something more alive, more fresh, and, and you know, and Strand's like, yeah, <laughs> as they get out there, Strand stabs his ass. Let's talk about that. That that was a key moment. And help me understand, people, because I'm not sure I truly understand. Is Victor more of a villain or a hero in this matter? I mean, maybe some of us are kind of like, yeah, Sanjay, you're worthless anyways, but, or is he just a scared man, you know? But I mean, in this, where they are in the apocalypse, is does that have no worth? I mean, is your life pretty much, you know, moot and voidless uh, at that point? It's a good question. I mean, for it was for Sanjay, I mean, Victor stabbed his ass, let him scream out, and, and he just got devoured, right? Which, uh, uh, I mean, helped Alicia and Charlie and all the others inside, but at the cost of murdering a person. Yeesh. Uh, I just, I'm not sure where I am on this one. I mean, Strand, I know Victor's always done what he needs to do to survive, and I appreciate it for his consistency in his character. But I'm like, man, you're, you're blurring some lines right here. I'm just, I'm just not quite sure how I feel about him right now, but... He did what he needed to do, and, you know, it looked like him and Alicia were having some moments throughout this episode. Um, him kind of talking about, like, being able to look her in the eye after he's done things and to remember who he is and so forth. But, yeah, during this episode, he, his idea was he wanted to basically try to overtake the Rangers, uh, Virginia's Rangers, and basically get their weapons and then head on. But Alicia points out that, you know, she'll just hunt us down. And I think somebody else said, they'll just hunt you down. Oh, the, the sister. We meet uh, Virginia's sister, Dakota. We got the Dakota and we got the Virginias. Good stuff. Uh, good name placement. And she's basically saying, you know, they'll hunt you down and, you know, she'll kill you guys. You know, you'll never make it. So Alicia kind of sees between the lines here and sees they need to kind of play the slow approach, as most of the smart survivors usually do. But Victor's got a lot of fire under his ass. He just he wants to get after it. And he ends up siding with Alicia and deciding to go the long route, which he sees he had to kill somebody uh, in order for them to get through this mission. Not to mention they almost lost a few of their own in the process. And I think he just sees, like, he's better off when he's making his own decisions and he's going to have to make some dark ones if they're going to get out of this. So by the end of the episode, Victor gains Virginia's full trust. It seems the weapon of mass destruction or whatever the hell, I guess they want to hunt Morgan or whoever else is out there is Victor himself, uh, a true natural leader who can lead these guys through crazy situations. That was the whole point. It was a test. And it was an interesting test. I thought that was an interesting play. I was confused at first, and then after I finally started putting all the pieces together, I finally got it. Good for me, right? Uh, <laughs> otherwise, this would have been a really, really bad uh, uh, talk on the show. So, yeah, so, you know, uh, Strand, by the end, decides to send Alicia away. Um, and then there's that other female, I'm already forget her name, I even looked it up like three times, but either way, he keeps her there doing laundry duty, Janice, Janice, I think, hey Janice, uh, he keeps her there doing laundry duty at that small settlement, and then he's sending Alicia away, apparently because, I guess the things he needs to do, she can't be there, because 
he rem- she reminds him of who he is or was or this or that. It's kind of all metaphoric in some ways and also a little confusing in my opinion. I'd love to know what you all think. Let me know. Uh, what did you think about this episode? Did it is it hitting the mark? To me, it's definitely not as strong as the open premiere. It just the open premiere just felt good. It just felt good, gritty, Walking Dead style. And I feel like we jumped super straight fast into the rest of the group and kind of what's going on. I understand they're setting the stage. All good, fine, do your thing. But I'm starting to get those feelings that you know a lot of us have had from the previous seasons of Fear the Walking Dead. I really hope they're not getting into a a jumba craziness of just messy storyline. Uh, I felt there's just a lot of things going on in this episode and you had to really kind of pay attention and stay focused to make sure you're kind of keeping track of everything that's going on. Now, again, that's just me and one viewer, but I would be curious to know what you all think too. And let's see if we, uh, if we align on this as we move through Fear the Walking Dead season six. So I was kind of getting on a roll there and I almost forgot to mention one other big, big reveal we had in this episode. We get to see Daniel, an injured Daniel at that, and Virginia makes some comments about how he's like a deck of cards, but all the cards are scattered or this or that, whatever, his memories and so forth. It seems Daniel has some bit of amnesia or whatever, and I kind of really felt bad for him for a moment. And I was kind of watching him really closely to see, is he putting on a show here? I mean, we know Daniel, he was a master interrogator, um, you know, in the military years. And uh, it just he's, he's very savvy when it comes to just street sense and just trying to fool people, I think, when he needs to and be a badass when he needs to. And as we get through this episode, and even though he was telling Strand, he didn't know he was, again, we see Charlie trying to play the song for him, and so we're getting all these bad feelings, and then by the very end, we find out, well, Morgan's literally right outside the gates of this facility, and, uh, and meets up with Daniel. Now, maybe a very convenient scene for this all to go down and happen, but we definitely see that Daniel was putting on a total show. He is fully with it, and is probably just ready and ready and willing to make his move. And so I'm really, really excited to see Ruben Blades get into action here. And let's see just how lethal he can be. Uh, I mean, we've seen little tastes of it in the earlier, earlier seasons of Fear the Walking Dead. But I think it's time now. Focus on him. He's a great actor and he is a strong part of the show. Let's let's see what he's really up to. Enough of the cats. Enough of Bonnie with Charlie. Let's see what he, he can do when his when he really has to get to it, right? So let's see how that plays out. And so taking into account, you know, the cinematography, the sounds were all real wonderful. The zombies were looking great. The setups were looking really cool, too. I mean, I have to admit, even though the situation was a little goofy, in my opinion, I thought it was still kind of fun. And so, you know, that gets you almost to a 5 just right there. So I think tonight's episode, I'm leaning towards around a 6.5. Yeah, 6, 5, 7, you know, whatever. But uh, I don't think it was great, so I'm leaning towards like that 6, 5 number. I'd love to know what you guys thought. If you were to give it a score, what would you give it? I'm just kind of curious. Uh, make sure to come out in about maybe 30 minutes to an hour. I will have the World Beyond Episode 3, uh, Tiger and the Lamb, I believe the episode is called. So it was something. Um, again, the episodes are near near as bad as the open premiere, but it's, it's something. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this small little talk and discussion about Fear the Walking Dead for Episode 2. I hope for many more episodes to come, and let's hope they can keep this story straight. And uh, we can learn some more about Dakota, the younger sister of uh, Virginia. See what she's all about and if she's going to really help our friends or she's going to be more of a problem along the way. Uh, to see if Virginia stands up to be the true villain that we're all hoping she will be. And a really nasty one. And uh, also see what other, what other things they have up their sleeves here uh, in this season. So with that said, I am Z-Man Show. And this is Fear the Walking Dead discussion. And I will talk to you guys at the next review. See you guys.